All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to build an Instagram bot with Python. So what this bot will do is it will uh, take your login credentials for Instagram. It will uh, navigate in a, in a new Firefox browser to Instagram. It will input your credentials. It will log you in. It can then search for a hashtag that you provide, which you can change whenever you want. And it will click on a photo. It will like the photo and it will navigate to the next photo with the same hashtag. I like the photo, I like the photo. You can modify this for comments as well, but I think that's a little bit spammy. And bear in mind, I don't know what the legality of this is with Instagram's terms of service. So if you do this on your actual account, you might get banned. I'm not sure what it is. This is purely for educational purposes and you might get a few followers off it if it's legal that's something you're going to have to research because i don't really use that on my account um so what we're going to do is in sublime text which is my text editor of choice i'm going to create a new uh, file and i'm going to call it instagram.py which is a python file and for all those people who've been programming in python for a while i've been doing it for literally a week or two so if you notice something and i write something in a weird way or i do something in bad practice leave a comment and let me know but please don't judge me uh, I'm not necessarily as good in Python as some other languages. Uh, so to start off with, I'm going to, um, we're gonna have to import some things. So if I open up my command prompt in Windows, I'll navigate to the file. So in my case, it's in users mark desktop Python. And you do that with the CD command in Windows or your relevant command for your operating system and navigate to the file that your um, Instagram file is in. What we have to do is we rely on something called Selenium for this, which is something that you can use to navigate the web with Python. And the way you install that is just do pip install Selenium. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna run this, but that is a prerequisite for this. And you're also gonna need something called Gecko Driver, which if you give that a Google on Windows, you can download an exe file. So to get started, first thing I'm gonna type is from Selenium, import web driver which I'm told is what you can use to navigate the web with. So again, I don't have that much information uh, on the on the on the why. This is just the, the, this is just the how. So then also from Selenium, I'm going to import. Okay, you know, so from Selenium dot webdriver dot common dot keys. I'm going to import keys with an uppercase K by the way in the second time. So after common, the keys is a lowercase K and then it becomes an uppercase K. And keys allows us to send some input to a web browser. So if you wanna click a button or if you wanna um, send some text over or if you wanna type into a text area, which we're gonna to wanna to do obviously, uh, you can use the keys thing. So now I'm also gonna import time which allows us to set some time between functions. So if I wanna click a button, then wait two seconds and then click another button, time is gonna allow us to wait two seconds there. So now I'm gonna create a class called Instagram bot. You can call your class whatever you want, but that's just what it is. Uh, and then I'm gonna define our init um, function, which if, if you're familiar with PHP or JavaScript, this is like your um, constructor function. And then it's gonna pass in self username and password. So in this case, self is gonna become something that we pass around through the rest of our functions. Username and password are obviously gonna be our Instagram username and our Instagram password. Uh, and then we can go inside our constructor method here and type self.username equals username, self.password equals password, and self.bot. This is a complicated one, so we're gonna do web driver dot Firefox, because we're gonna use Firefox as our browser. And then for me, we have to include the gecko.exe installation file. So like I said at the start of the video, you can find that just by giving it a Google, and then you'll find an exe file on Windows, and then whatever that says. So for example, mine saved in my downloads folder, the exe file, so I have to link to that. So you type X, executable path, and then equals, and then the link to where your file is. So in my case, I'm just gonna copy and paste the link over there, which is here. So if I go to my downloads folder, there's a file called geckodriver.exe, which I've downloaded from the internet. And now that's it for our constructor function, so we can tab out of that. And now we're gonna define a login variable. Uh, and bear in mind as we go through this, I will go to my browser and show you what this is doing. I'm not gonna wait, like code the entire thing and show you at the end. I will go through it step by step. For login, we're gonna include self. And this is allow us to, gonna allow us to use the username and password that we pass in in our constructor method. So now I'm gonna type bot equals self.bot and I'm gonna do bot.get, which is a function that you can use to navigate to a URL. And then I'm gonna say, https instagram.com 
slash accounts slash login, which is the login page for when you try and log into Instagram with a, an email and password. So now if I go out of this, if I down here, if I say Insta, I might make a new variable and call it, set it to Instagram bot and then pass in my username and password. So you can see up here, we've got username and password. I need to pass both of these parameters in here. So this is my Instagram handle. You can follow that if you want. And then this is my Instagram password that I'm probably going to censor out. Um, and then now we can do now is type insta.login, which is going to run the login function inside of our Insta file. So the way we run this is we go back to our CMD file and we type Python Instagram.py. What that's going to do is open up a new Firefox browser and navigate to the Instagram login page. So that's it so far. That's all we've told it to do. But now obviously we need to populate these fields with our Instagram um, email or username and password. So the way we're going to do that is bot find underscore element by name, which is going to find an element with the name. So this is input files with, with, with an input boxes with a name of whatever we pass in. So we're going to say username because that is the name given to the input that we type our username in. Uh, and then we're going to start send keys. And what that's going to do is it's going to make use of the keys thing that we imported up here. And that means we're going to be able to send input to an input box. So we've said, find this input find the username box and now send information to it. And the information we're gonna send is self.username. And again, I can run that again, just so we can take a look at what, what that looks like. It's gonna open up our Firefox browser, navigate to the Instagram login page, and then it's gonna import our username or it should. It looks like we've got some errors here, so we can check that. Unable to locate the element. And that's probably because we've asked for this. We've asked for it to enter some information before the page is loaded. So now we can make use of our import, our import of time. So we say time dot sleep, three seconds. And what we're going to do is this is going to say, okay, open up our browser, navigate to Instagram, wait three seconds for the page to load, and then input some information. So now we can check if that works. So I can just clear my terminal, press enter again. And now it's going to open up Firefox again. It's going to navigate to Instagram and this time, hopefully it will load the page and now put our username in the box. There we go. Perfect. So now that we know this works, we can do copy and paste this and we can do the same with password. So we can say find the password field and enter our password. Simple enough, isn't it? And then now what we can do is we want to set it to sleep. So um, we'll type down here sleep time dot sleep make it sleep for another three seconds while it loads the page. But after we've entered our password, we also want to press enter. So the way we can do that is to type key plus keys dot return. And this is going to press the return key or the enter key. So it's going to type in our username, then type in our password, and then it's going to press the return key, which is obviously enter. Then we're going to wait three seconds, and that's going to wait three seconds for the page, the post login screen to load. And now we're going to create a new function. So login's done. We've successfully logged in. So I can just show you that now if I run this. So it opens up our Firefox browser, it navigates to the Instagram login page. Now we should wait three seconds for the page to load, input our credentials, and now press enter. And now we should be logged into Instagram. There we go, so now I'm logged into my Instagram account. So now that we know our login function works, we can move on to our next function, uh, which in our case is gonna be called search hashtag. So right now we wanna be looking for hashtags. So if I type define search hashtag, and then inside it, I'm going to put include the self and I'm also going to include hashtag. So self is obviously going to be things like the bot, our username and password. And also then I'm going to include a hashtag. So we'll be able to change that on the fly and in a function down below. So now inside this, we're going to say bot, dot, bot equals self dot bot. And again, that, that, all that's going to do is call, um, is make it so that the bot variable holds our web browser information. And then I'm going to type bot.get, and this is the cool part. So now we're already logged in, we can redirect ourselves to different pages around Instagram. So the URL that Instagram takes you to when you search for a hashtag is instagram.com slash explore slash tags. And then if we append our hashtag, so it's going to say explore tags slash travel, for example, if we use that hashtag. So at the bottom here, I remember I need to type insta dot search hashtag and then inside here I'm going to type the hashtag so for now we can use travel so obviously a lot of people use that hashtag and now I can save and run this again so we're being logged in you can see here that we're being logged in and now what it's going to do is wait three seconds for the page to load and then redirect us to explore tags travel so you can see here this is all the photos that people have recently tagged with the hashtag travel um, and now that's the end of the that's the end of the function that we've written now 
So the next step is to um, now that we've searched the hashtags, we want to start liking some photos because obviously if we like someone's photo, they might like ours and then might follow us and we can get some followers out of it. The next thing we need to do is create another function, define, and then we're going to call this one like photos. And this just takes self and an amount. So we'll be able to pass in how many photos you wanted to like. So you can type one if you only want to like one photo for some reason, or you can type a thousand and it'll filter through a thousand Instagram photos and like every single photo with the hashtag travel. So now we can go inside our function and they say again, bot equals self dot bot. We do that at the start of every single one of our functions that we need to use the web browser in. And now we're going to say bot dot find element. And this time instead of by name, we're going to say by class name. And what this is going to do is look for elements on a page with a certain class. Uh, and I've done the research on this already. And I found that every single Instagram element, every single frame, every single photo that come up on the page has the, has the class name of V1NH3. Don't know why this is. Instagram uses obscure class names, uh, probably to prevent stuff like this. But now we're going to find this first image. And now we want to click on it. So we can say dot click. And what that's going to do now is at the bottom here, if I append insta dot like photos and then one, for example, just for now, when you want to like one photo. Um, so now if I run this, okay, so we're going to be redirected. We're going to be logged in. And now we're going to be redirected to the travel page and it's going to load up the first image. So you can see here that, that that's the first image and it's clicked it automatically for us. Uh, so now the next thing we need to do is obviously like it. And we can see if I inspect element here, I can click this little tool down at the bottom, click on this button, and it's going to find uh, the class name that this button has. So I've already found this again. So what we're going to do is I can close this down and now we want it to like the photo. So we've clicked the button and now I'm going to say I equals one. And now we're going to do a loop because we want to loop through every single photo. Um, so now the next thing we do is say while I, oh, nearly went into a bit of PHP there. While I is smaller than or equal to amount. So basically, we're going to increment each time until we've reached the number of photos that we wanted to like. And then we're going to say time dot sleep once. We want to wait for one second, wait for one second after we've clicked the first photo for it to load. So you can see here we've clicked the first photo and now we want to wait one second for it to load. And then we're going to say bot dot find underscore element by class name. And then this time the class name is F R six six N, which is the class name of the like button on Instagram. So we're going to click this button. Oh, no semicolons in Python. I need to remember that one. And now that we've clicked the like button, there's a little button that's next. So we can click on the next photo. And what we do now again is we do bot dot find element by class name, and then actually copy over the class name for this because it's quite a long one. And it's just that the arrow on the right hand side of the image that we can click to go to the next photo. So we want to click that as well. And then we do I plus equals one. So now we're going to increment our loop. And what this is going to do now is it's going to click on the first image that comes up. So it pops up into a, like a light box and then it's going to into, in, go into our loop and say, okay, find the element with this class name, uh, which is going to be the like button. We're going to click the like button then click on the next button to the next image and then loop through this. So like next image, like next image until we've reached our amount that we want to like total. Uh, and then at the end, what we can do is after we've broke out of our loop, I wanted to say bot.get again. So I want to redirect and we can redirect to HTTPS Instagram.com slash. And then I'm going to append our self dot username. So it's going to like as many photos as you've asked it to. And then it's going to redirect you back to your own profile. We haven't got to do this. This is just obviously if you want to like a thousand photos and then go to your profile to see if you've gained any followers after it's finished the loop, it'll redirect you back to your profile so that you know the loops over and you can see if you've gained any followers or any attention from it. Um, so that's pretty much it. So now at the bottom, I'm going to change this to like five or 10, I'm going to change five, for example, and then um, I can run this again. So I'll clear the command line and run this. So it opens up our browser window again. It's going to redirect us to Instagram. It's going to enter our login credentials. It's going to log us in. Then it will redirect us to the travel page or the hashtag page that we've searched for. Click the first photo, click the like button, click the next photo, do this five times or unlike them, if, it, if the photo is already liked, it will unlike it, it'll do it five times and then it will redirect us back to our profile. So that's basically it. That's like 45-ish lines of code, right? That's a couple of lines of code. 
uh, 40 lines of code actually and obviously you can change the hashtag here you can do whatever you want with that you can t- change it on the fly like I say I don't know the legality for this I don't know if you're allowed to do this in Instagram's terms of service so maybe try it on a bot account or a test account uh, and don't use it on your own account otherwise you might get banned I'm not sure what the rules are but thanks for watching this video like I say I'm a little bit rusty with Python I don't really know how to do it properly yet i'm still learning so if you have any comments or feedback on the code that i've written then please leave a comment and let me know if you're more experienced than i am i'm really happy to hear your thoughts and th- feedback that's how you make an instagram bot with python please leave a like subscribe and i hope to see you back on the channel again for the next video